Hi, I'm Charlie Chapman, a developer advocate here at Revenue Cap. Our mission as a company is to help developers make more money. This is obviously broad, but I can tell you after being here almost a year that it's truly ingrained in our day-to-day decision-making. But we've recognized a gap for mobile-first apps looking to monetize on the web. Native in-app purchases through Apple's App Store or Google Play Store are great in a lot of ways, but subscriptions via the web offer a lot of interesting opportunities for developers. Outside the restrictions and processes of app stores, web-based subscriptions can enable faster experimentation, better measurability, and of course, improved margins without app store fees. So with that in mind, I'm excited to share with you a sneak peek of sorts for an exciting new avenue for Revenicat to help developers make more money. Today, we're launching the beta of Revenicat Billing, web purchases designed specifically for the needs of mobile-first app developers. Now, to set expectations straight right off the bat, this is early. What I'm about to share is not a final product, but a beta that lets us ship and start getting feedback to help shape the product for you, the developers. So what is Revenicat Billing? Revenicat Billing is a JavaScript SDK and web backend that allows you to integrate subscription purchases into your website to unlock entitlements for your apps. Web subscriptions work seamlessly with the existing Revenicat backend, which means purchases on the web will unlock features for your mobile applications automatically. If this sounds familiar, it's because this is how our other products work as well. We have an iOS SDK, for example, that you integrate into your iPhone app, and it talks to our Revenicat backend for entitlement management, experiments, and collecting transaction data to power our charts. Same goes for our Android SDK. Now, for our mobile platforms, the actual purchases themselves run through Apple's StoreKit or Google's Billing Play Library. With Revenicat Billing, we're handling the purchases, recurring transactions, email receipts, and even a light customer portal. With our initial beta, the payment gateway itself is Stripe, but we're exploring expanding to other payment gateways in the future. Okay, so here's the idea. With Revenicat Billing, you'll be able to add our new JavaScript SDK to your website. This SDK will let you fetch a current offering from the Revenicat backend, just like you do today with our mobile SDKs. Using this offering, you can build a simple paywall for your website for your users to select a subscription tier. Now, with this initial beta, we don't have a paywall UI framework like we do on mobile, but we're planning to add that eventually. Once users have selected a subscription, you can use our SDK to initiate a purchase. Here, users will be shown a modal for entering their credit card details. After a successful purchase, the user will receive an email receipt that includes a link to a customer portal hosted by us that enables them to update their payment info or cancel a subscription. And your user will now have an active entitlement on our back end. So if they're logged in on a mobile device, they'll automatically be able to access the features they've purchased on the web. And our web SDK lets you check a user's entitlement from there as well. So you could enable features on your website for subscribed users, or even build out a full web version of your app. And of course, all these web transactions will show up in Revenicat charts, just like you're used to on mobile. And we have a lot of exciting ideas for where to take Revenicat billing in the future. Like I mentioned, we're designing Revenicat billing with mobile app developers in mind. So we're exploring features like gift cards, bulk subscriptions, cross-app bundling, and more that we can enable by having a web purchasing flow that exists outside of the app stores. Now, like I said, this is very much an initial beta, so there's a few notable limitations that you should be aware of. Now, even with these limitations, there's some really cool use cases you can already implement, like win-back campaigns or some simple web subscription flows to add a new user acquisition channel. I wrote up a blog post you can check out on our blog if you're interested. Hopefully, you can tell we're super excited about where this is all leading. And as always, we want to hear from you. Ultimately, that's who we're building this for. And that's why we're sharing this with you now, right at the beginning, so you can help us shape this to be the best billing product for mobile-first subscription app businesses like yours. For all the details on the Revenicat billing beta, check out our launch post on the Revenicat blog. For everything else Revenicat, visit Revenicat.com.